The team of the Swiss Nanoscience Institute and the Department of Physics of the University of Basel is going to participate in the first international nano car race of the world. The race will take place in Toulouse in spring 2017. The cars in this special race are single molecules that have to be moved over a racetrack with two curves and a total length of 100 nanometers. But although this is really short, it is quite a challenge to succeed. It only works in a special microscope, a so-called scanning tunneling microscope. Such a device does not work with lenses, but with a tiny measuring tip that scans the sample step by step. A tunneling current flows between the tip and the sample, and its size is dependent on the distance between sample and tip. During the nanocar race, a current flows from the tip of the microscope to the molecule. If it is high enough, the molecule starts to move and can be steered over the racetrack. The temperature in the measuring chamber is only minus 268 degrees centigrade, so that the molecules don't move without the current. The scientists also use an ultra-high vacuum system. This helps to keep the surface as clean as possible in order to prevent accidents with other molecules. The Basel team has called their molecule Swiss Nano Dragster and this is how it looks like. It is synthesized by the team of Professor Catherine Housecroft from the University of Basel. It has an engine of three nitrogen atoms and a front spoiler of a methyl group. The competitors in the race are the Nano Mobile Club from France, the Nano Vehicle from Japan, the Nano Windmill from Germany, the Ohio Bobcat from the US and an Austrian-American team. Almost all teams have been to Toulouse for a practice session. Currently, the two Swiss pilots Tobias Meyer and Remy Favlak hold the speed record of 20 nanometers per hour with a nano dragster. During the real race, they will have 38 hours to finish the distance of 100 nanometer. We hope that it won't take that long, but sometimes, like in Formula One, there are problems with the cars and crashes. As some of the teams faced a number of problems with their cars, the organizers have decided to postpone the race from October this year until next spring. For the scientists, the nano car race is a lot of fun and a lot of extra work. But it's not just about winning a competition, they also learn a lot. For example, about friction on surfaces, one of their major research topics. Besides the two pilots Tobias and Remy, the Swiss team includes other experienced scientists from the group of Professor Ernst Meyer. Already now they are well prepared and they will go to Toulouse to win. The Swiss Nanoscience Institute is happy to sponsor the enthusiastic team and we keep our fingers crossed that the nano dragster will be fast and will always stay on track. <laughs>